starting on the base coat for this. Uh, it'll be the scratch and brown base coat, commercial grade, quick creed, stucco. Um, pretty cool stuff. You know, it makes the job pretty easy. Uh, you literally put it in the wheelbarrow or mixing pan, whatever you're using, mixer. You can use a paddle type mixer and add about a one and a half gallons of water per bag and I'm just doing one bag at a time and working that and then cleaning up so that my tools don't get crusty. Tools that you're going to need, um, obviously I'm using a wheelbarrow um, for my mixing and to work out of. You're going to need a couple different buckets. Uh, one bucket for your tools. I'm using this small bucket to measure out my water for my mix. That's a two gallon bucket and it's about a one and a half to two, well, right at one and a half gallon water mix. Um, obviously a water supply. I've set up a little table here just to kind of make things easier on me, but uh, mixing tools, you're gonna need a, a good sturdy hoe. And obviously when you're doing masonry, you wanna wear some rubber or rubberized gloves. You don't wanna get that masonry all over you. It'll it'll eat your skin up so or dry your skin out actually so I've got a, a mud hawk here that I'm using a uh, just a, a pool trowel you know rounded nose it's a 16 inch pool trowel and then a, uh, a scraper to do your scratch coat or well to put the lines in your scratch coat this was my first bag of mix and you can see it covered about a about a four foot wide, six foot tall area, so pretty decent coverage, about half inch thick. But once you get your get your base coat on like this, then you come back with your scraper and you put those lines in. You just run it across, and uh, that's why it's called a scratch coat, or base coat. Um, you're putting those lines in so that your top coat of stucco will stick to it and adhere to it. Um, so anyway, I've got my mud mixed up here. I've already started applying some and uh, in a previous video I showed you how to do the uh, this opening that I covered up, uh, the tar paper and the, and the metal lath and now we're getting started on the stucco. So I was just gonna do a quick video on the stucco itself. And uh, I won't go through the whole mixing process. That's that's pretty basic. You dump your you dump your stucco in the wheelbarrow. Um, this type does not require any extra sand or anything. Everything's already in the mix. So all I have to do is uh, use the hoe and uh, mix it up real good. Work it back and forth until I get everything thoroughly mixed and the consistency that I want. And then I load up my hawk and I start applying. So I'll set up the camera and uh, show you that in progress. I use this con concrete bonding adhesive. It's a quick creep. Uh, what I did is I painted it on. You can actually see as it starts to get sticky, that's when you want to apply your, your stucco. So I put this on, rolled it on about the thickness of a coat of paint. And uh, it's kind of like Elmer's glue is about the consistency of it. But anyways, I uh, painted that on and then started applying my stucco. So that should help it to adhere to that surface because it's been painted over. And, uh, you know, I did pre-wash it. I did, I did uh, use some chemical remover and stuff like that on it to make sure that it's going to stick. But the old paint just isn't coming off. So uh, this should help it to adhere and last.
this one bag at a time, 80 pound bag at a time. Do my application, I come back and do my scratch, and then I clean everything up and work another bag. And that's so that the stucco doesn't set up and stick to everything. So I'm going to load up my hawk like so. I use the, the top edge of my of my trowel to catch the stucco. So scooping it like that, dumping it on, clean off the slop on the edges so I don't lose that. Then you hold your hawk up against, and you basically scoop it right off your hawk. Have your hawk unloaded, and then you just start spreading it out. So, working it into this lattice and kind of feathering it out. So I'm just kind of working that in until I have it until I have it leveled up. Working it into that lattice and then feathering it out so that it blends in with the area around it because the lattice is just a little bit thicker. Right, so I'll let you see it from this angle. I've got about a three foot by six foot area that I covered with the same 80 pound bag. Um, my stucco was starting to dry up a little bit too because I was spending so much time with shooting a video. So, but that's all right. Uh, it went on fine. It's on good. So now I'm going to do my scratch and uh, show you how that works. And that will be the end of it. Uh, and I'll come back to this when I get ready to do the top coat. Just to clarify, I was talking about the bonding agent earlier. You don't use the bonding agent on your lap. That's only for the surfaces that you're not sure about it sticking to. The lab is an excellent, has excellent ad adhesion. Uh, you know, it's made specifically for masonry to stick to. So that uh, that product, I'm only using that product on the painted surfaces. The, uh, the metal lath, don't need it on that at all. So just wanted to clarify that.